Hello, good morning and welcome. My name is Manuel from Qatar Studios. Today we're going to learn how to choose fonts, okay? How to find fonts on Google and how to choose fonts for your project. Not only finding fonts and choosing fonts, you're going to also learn font pairing for persons who are into web design. But these are more focused for graphics or brand identity design projects, but we are going to go a little bit down the hill for web designers. So today we are going to learn first, we are going to, before we get to this particular uh, website, I'm going to tell you a little about this website and why I love this website so much and why you, you will need it. I'll be sending a link to this website. Most, almost all the fonts here are for free and they are licensed for free uses, not cracked uh, uh, fonts. Now, there are two kinds of fonts people download. There are ones that are supposed to be paid for and people download it and, you know, use it without paying for it. That is illegal. That's like cracking a software or cracking a tool or someone effort you're trying to get them for free. That's stealing, okay? So, so that's not what we teach in this platform. We teach you how to get free fonts or fonts that are high quality but still free uh, with licenses and also to help you scale your project and make it still look professional. So we are going to come back to this phone share website. But first, let's get in and learn how to find fonts. So this is how I find fonts. Now, you're looking for different kind of font. Most people, problem people have is finding a particular category name for a particular font. Now, every font have its category name. For instance, we have a sans serif. We have serif. Those are different. Those ones, I call them parent category. They are not actually uh, parents. They are not actually uh subcategories. I call them parents, parents category. Then we have categories where we can talk about both fonts. We talk about uh, 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 signature fonts and so on and so forth. You get the font. Thin font, tall font, uh, fat font, stuff like that. So I'm going to teach you how I find fonts of different categories. Okay? Subcategories, I mean. So now today we are going to be looking for a font for a client project. And I'm going to show you what to do when you're looking for a font. So you don't make mistakes. It's not just to search a font and see if you like it. I'm going to show you how to test run, do an A-B test on your font to see whether it will work for that project name, especially for those doing logo design. So now let's get right into it. So what we're going to do here is to find for our signature fonts. You can either call it signature font or stylish fonts. I'm going to show you why. Okay, so we've got signature fonts and let's search for stylish fonts. Okay, so these names we are putting are just like variable names. It's not like what these fonts are called, but we're going to see variable related to this particular kind of font. So for instance, we go for stylish fonts and we search for that website. So you see, we got, let it just load. We got a, a truckload of fonts available for us to choose from. Have a very slow network. So these are signature fonts we have, we got, uh, uh, stylish fonts we got from here. So as you can see, these are not just signature fonts. Most of these fonts are not signature fonts, but they are related. Why I have to go this route first is to make you understand that you see this one, this is a stylish font, but it's not a signature font. Okay? So why I want you to go this route so that you understand you can still find more variables by using the right keyword okay so the keyword we are using here is stylish let's change the keyword to signature this time okay and now we are going to open it in another link so we open it in another page while it loads so you see everything we are going to find there is signature font you understand the difference now so we are going to leave this aside and we go back here and we put another keyword we call this bold font so we have both fonts let's see open it and let's search for tall fonts we have tall fonts. Let's see open tall fonts. If you noticed, I'm using only 1001 fonts. Why? Because these people have a larger uh, array of uh, resources for fonts. They have very large scale resources of fonts. We can also use font courier. We can use my font. These fonts are... Uh, let's still try this out and see if they have the features. And I'll tell you why I like using this particular font uh, website. for you. So we used tall font. Let's start for thin fonts. Okay, so we now search for thin fonts. Now you can do the same thing I just did with other fonts websites. Just search for other fonts. And moreover, you can see the sample of what you are searching for and what it's gonna look like. You get the point. So you can also see other variables from here. See other names they could be called. You see, thin fonts, uh, best thin fonts, uh, the skinny on the thin font. So now you see, we now have another variable name, skinny font. So if you search for skinny font, you're still gonna start finding a variable. But instead of wasting much of our time, let's get right into the main business. So we got the first one, which is the signature font. And we got the second one, which is the bold font. Here we're gonna find all bold fonts, all bold free fonts we can find. Here we got uh, tall fonts. 
and here with in another website totally we got another tall fonts you see this particular website have a different way of presenting there, there are many websites that can give you very cool interface but most of them are for sale bam you see that so now um i want to make it very clear it's not every website you get into just look around before you start scrambling through the website some websites are paid fonts so if for instance we can also search this variable name like this just watch what i will do i will say uh bold fonts then i say font squirrel okay you see we got both fonts from font square so if you have a specific name for a website you can set that specific name let's close this down and we get right to that website you see we got both font from font square i spelled that wrongly so now when you get down you can pick as much font as you want now you might be asking how do i download and how do i install this i'm going to teach, teach you how to download and also how to install this very easily so in case you downloaded 20 or 40 or 100 fonts at a time you will be able to install all of them all at once in one drop i'm going to teach you how to do that so for instance we want to in download this one just click on the font okay and click on this particular one that says download ttf ttf is a font uh uh font we call this font format okay it's an extension font format it should be dot ttf and we have dot uh, wfp and we have other formats that follows after ttf so let's still see from here we're going to see some more formats available whenever we click let's click on this we can see some other formats that we have available for this particular project possibly when we download it you're going to see okay we have otf as you see from here we have otf we have ttf we have wif or wff or something like that so now we got to this one we want to download the font to click on download and the font will automatically start downloading you see you can select to download it in the desktop some of them are zipped some of them are open usually font squares zip their fonts because most of them have the font family with them so font family is when you have the bold one you have the thin one everything is inside one okay but this other one i don't think they have that font family type they just have one format but i'm going to teach you something very quickly okay so we have this uh we have this particular one you see how this particular font can be used so let's go back and we have all of these variables from here you can click to download this font from here it's you can download if it have the font family to download the font family if the font family is not available for that font it won't now some fonts have font family and font, some font don't have font family so don't be dismayed when you see a font you try to download and it doesn't have a thin version or a bold version or a regular version so you just have that in mind okay so now before we proceed to downloading this font i want us to do something very quickly if you have a logo you want to create for a client and you have the name ready and you want to test it out on this type of font to see which particular one suits that particular design well before downloading it without, without wasting much of your time you can just paste the name from here you see i pasted the name of my client's uh, 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 uh brand name from here then what you need to do is to hit the enter button and it will search for that font you see now we have that font in the name for my client project now it's easy for me to now ascertain whether this font works perfectly well for this project or not i you can as you can see you see most of the fonts that are looking nice in other alphabets are not looking nice in this one you get the point now they are going to use the default font uh uh presentation uh, uh title like as you can see from here the open sand board writing the name of that particular uh, font name. Some of these uh, websites don't use that. They use a regular uh, font format uh, like we use uh, in design when we want to drop in a text element. It, we start seeing something like a lorem ipusum. So this one they have for fonts, they have uh, this frame format. Let me show you what that looks like. So for instance, we want to install this. Double click and we hit enter. You see, we have this format the quick brown fox jump over the lazy dog this is a format for font every font you want to download this is the format you are going to see the font with okay i just went to make, to make you understand that so now we have this we are not satisfied with what we have in this first page we can head over to the next page to see what we have if those are available those are okay for us see we can now start finding the fonts that we need okay so for instance we want this one we hit on download it's going to download that as a zip because this file have uh a family okay so we click on save okay we can also proceed to this one and we hit on download if it's a family it will still save as a family now 
we have downloaded two fonts from there. We get to this one, which is our bold font. Now, I want to show you something very quickly. You can either reduce the font size so you can see everything very clearly from here. Okay, remember we didn't put stuff like this. Popularity, we can talk about uh, different type of popularity for the font format we want to see. For instance, I want to check on the trending fonts only. We are going to see all trending fonts from here. Now, there are some font website that are going to show you the formats, like the bold one, the thin one, and all of that. And by the way, if you actually don't know the font type you're looking for, you can still read on the list. You can see here, you can see script font. If you click on script font, you're going to see handwriting. You can see uh, uh, cursive. You can see brush, modern, hand, lettering, display, handwriting, wedding, heading, and so on. So wedding, you know what wedding fonts are going to look like. They are stylish fonts too. So click on wedding font. You're going to see that most of them have stylish fonts. Okay. Feminine fonts. Um, most of these fonts that have more of a feminine uh, effect, like love signs and all of that. Like this is very beautiful. So you're going to test out your font with the font name for your brand, the brand you're working on. And whatever font you think is okay for you, you can download. So once you're done downloading, let me head in to show you what to do next. So we downloaded these four fonts. What we need to do is to extract this font. Just double click them. Make sure you have the zip extractor. Double click them and extract them to the desktop. So let's take, for instance, we extracted just these two. Okay, let's take, for instance, these two are all the fonts we extracted. There are many fonts we extracted from here. What you need to do, you can possibly create a folder. This is not compulsory. You can call it whatever. And drag the, all the fonts into that place. Or just start extracting all of them there. So why you create folder is in case your font is up to 100, you can just click anywhere and click on Ctrl A to select everything at once. Because if you do that in the desktop, it's going to select whether it's font or even the project you are working on. So this is how to do things and make them organized. So we click and select or let's say it's 100 fonts we have from here. Now, we want to apply this font to our website and see them in Photoshop immediately. So instead of clicking here, usually the right format is clicking here and clicking install at the top here. Okay, what we need to do is to go to this part and search for fonts. Okay, when you search for fonts, click on enter. Then you can shift it to this edge, select everything or do what you need to do. Then drag it into this space, this space. Okay, drag it and drop it. Allow it. It will load the font and it have installed the font very easily. No matter how many they are, if they are up to 1,000, they might take a little time to load. But just allow it, just one drop and you are good to go. That's one way to what? drop your font in now for instance you want to leave this particular pc and go head over to another pc and you want to copy all your fonts and you don't know what to, how, how to do that you don't need to have a font in your folder or start finding a place or start updating your font every time you add new font you update your folder that will take a lot of time this is exactly what to do click on the windows and search for control panel we're not going to do that from the previous one control panel from control panel search for font at the top okay font click on preview delete or show the hidden fonts so once you click on that, it's going to populate all the fonts we have in this. So once we want to move to a new PC, click a new folder, you can call this font and you make sure the font folder is open. So the next thing you need to do is select on this and click on Control A to select everything. Okay. Once you select everything, drag it into that place. Automatically, this will automatically start copying those fonts into your folder very, very easily. Okay. Give it a little time. Because this font is trying to group them. Now, this font is 600 plus font. 600 plus font doesn't mean all of the fonts singularly. This means, this means it summarizes most of these fonts as group. So 600 font might end up becoming 900 and something. As you can see from here, I'm not lying. You see, 600 font from here, which we have 600 and 44 is including the families now excluding uh, separating the families or expanding the families will give us 942 fonts so don't be confused like you extracted 600 and you are receiving a different number so since we have the fonts here when next we want to import it we can do it the other way or come over here select everything and drag everything in when you drag everything into this place the same process it will tell you if those fonts are still existing it will it will remind you you can say yes you want to replace them or you don't want to replace them so click on stop i don't want to replace them and i proceed with my work so now we get over here i don't think i have forgotten we understand all of these things how to deal with this so you can use grunge you can also search for grunge fonts different type of fonts anything you want to search i just to teach you how to search for font categories and all of that i like this thin font very nice 
So now the next thing is this font. I'm going to provide you the link in the description below. Why I love this font is that it also works well for website designers. You can see different font types and you can reduce and increase the weight of the font. You see how beautiful this is? You can see different font families or different font size that the other ones won't show you. This is a very powerful tool. You can also reduce the size or increase the size to know whether it works for a body text or a heading text. Okay, so whatever size you want, can still test them out here and see. And all of those sizes are available for that font. You see, this one doesn't have much of that. You see the very bold font. You see the very thin font. Everything is available here. You can see how it works for very bold and very thin. Now, in most cases, you might download fonts and you realize that they don't come with thicker font family. Okay, and by the way, when you import the font to your Illustrator, you're going to have a very nice effect and you don't just place the font and you start walking around. See, I have the font name at the top and then I have the subtitle at the bottom part and I make sure the font mixes up with the bottom part while I strike, strike this part out, like deleting this part of the font and allowing this part effect. That's what makes it a, a, a logo, not just placing a font and letting it be like that. Okay, so this is just a signature font. It makes more sense as he is comfortable with it. So most fonts might not have the ticker version. This is what you do. In case a font don't have a ticker version, you can create a ticker version of the font. What you need to do is select on the font, go to stroke, select a color. You want to select a color on stroke. You don't even need to select a color. Go to stroke, increase the stroke to whatever size you want. You see? When you increase the stroke, make sure the stroke is the same color with the field color. Now, you notice that when we are increasing the stroke, it's joining with the other one. Well, how to treat this problem is in multiple ways. One of which is... You can get into your font element, your text element, which could be in the property panel, okay? Then you are going to go to this area that expands for this one exactly, okay? This one. What you're going to do is use this one to increase the space between the elements. You see? It will now give a little space between the elements, giving us that effect as we need. One other thing I don't like about this is you look at the top of this part. You see, we have a dot at that edge. We will do something to remove that, okay? Look at what we do. Go over to your stroke area, click on this panel, this dot, this three option, click on show more option, click on that, and it will expand this. Once you expand this, this is what you need to do. Make sure you select on this option, select on this option, you see, it closes that. Select on this option to make all edges rounded. You can also make all edges pointed if you want, but make it rounded, and then select on this option to copy it. When you select on this, you see, we have that problem. And when you select on this other one, see, we have that problem. When you select on this other one, we have the problem solved. So this is how to solve your problems. Make sure you space out your text and you are good to go. So these are the basic informations I need to show you. And I think I have explained everything about fonts, how to uh, search for fonts, the font families, font categories, the font uh, formats, the extension, we talked about that, how to use fonts for your logo project, how to actually use the, the logo name to search for a particular font that works well for you, and how to sort fonts based on this, and how to increase the font width in case you don't find font family that supports the width you need. Okay, so play around, guys. There are many fonts you can find from this particular website. Very beautiful fonts, and I think they have a next page. Okay, they don't have a next page. They should have a next page. Okay, keep scrolling down. It will keep loading more. Okay, see? See where we are? See where we are? Too many fonts available here. Too many fonts. And they keep adding fonts weekly. And I think that's very interesting part of it. So guys, this is Kata Studios from, from uh, this manual from Kata Studios, by the way. And I'm excited to have this particular lesson treated. It's been something long for me to treat. And I think we are done with it and we are good to go. Okay? Have any problem anytime about font, come back here. And if you are not following or subscribed to this channel, you might not see us again. Do have a wonderful day.